Now, when it comes to buying a webcam for streaming or uploading YouTube videos, we have a lot of different webcams we can buy. And at the moment, the most popular ones are made by Logitech. If you were to go to YouTube and search for which webcam to buy for 2015, 16, 17, and 18, and even 19, people are still gonna tell you to buy the Logitech C920, which right now is the most popular webcam you can get out there. However, when you do actually use a Logitech webcam, in a lot of cases, the videos are going to be out of sync. So if you're one of the types of people like me who likes to record my face cam in one application, I record my screen in a second application, and my sound is recorded in a third application, then when I have to put it inside an editing program afterwards, it gets out of sync. Which is really annoying when you have a really fancy webcam that is supposedly the best webcam out there. So how do we fix this issue of getting it synced after it has become out of sync and what is actually causing the issue? Well, the simple explanation is the fact that when you do actually record, let's say your face cam using a webcam and it doesn't process fast enough because maybe there is some bottleneck with your computer or maybe something else, then the processing gets done a little bit too late and the video gets delayed into the recording and then you lose a little bit of sync together with your audio, which causes everything to sort of get screwed up along the way. So here comes the big question. How do we fix out of sync videos? This is an issue that has been bothering me for many years and I do have a solution to it. In the past, my solution was to actually take the file, let's say the MP4 file I have here that I just recorded before making this video and simply make a copy of it and then change the format into a .mov format instead of a MP4 format. In some cases in the past, this right here, would actually solve it for me, but it doesn't do that anymore. So how do we get the audio and video synced together so it doesn't get out of sync after a couple of minutes? Well, the solution is to download a program called Handbrake. And now I know what you think. Why do we have to download a program in order to fix this? Because I had the same thought. And many years ago, I even got this solution and was told that this was what you needed to do. But because I had to download a software and do something using a software, I was sort of hesitant and never really tried it out. But after trying it, I can tell you it does actually work. So what I recommend you do is that you go to Google, search for Handbrake or Handbrake software, download their software and install it. And don't worry, it's not going to be adware or anything like that. So you can install it without having to worry about anything getting into your computer in some kind of malicious way. It is just a regular software that we can actually use in order to change video formats into something else or fix potential issues like, for example, out of sync video. So after you installed Handbrake, let's actually go and open it up to actually see what it looks like. And as you can see, we have a very small screen here. It looks beautiful, the interface. I have to say the only personal thing is that I don't really like the logo. But other than that, I think the program looks really good. So once you have it open, go ahead and grab the file that you want to change or fix in order to get it working or sync with your audio. Drag it into the screen here, drop it. And then you can see it starts loading up the, the actual video. In here, we're not gonna touch a lot of things. We're just gonna go ahead and go to the video tab that we have up here. And we're gonna go ahead and change one of the presets. And then we're going to do a few tweaks afterwards. Now, just to mention it, because I know some of the more technical people are going to tell me, well, Daniel, once you put a video inside this software and you export it back out, it's going to lose quality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it without losing noticeable quality. And I know that people are going to tell me, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen videos on YouTube that tells you how to do this without losing quality. But seriously, I'm going to show you how to do this without noticing any sort of loss in quality when you export it back out. So let's go and jump back into it here. So after we get back into the software, I'm going to go into presets. I'm going to click it, go down to web, and I'm going to choose Vimeo YouTube high quality 1080p 60 frames per second. I'm going to click it and then you can see some of the changes down here gets changed. Now, if you do have a 60 frames per second video, go ahead and just leave it at 60. If you record it at 30 frames per second, then you could just slide it back down to 30. It's up to you. The really important thing to do here though, in order to fix the auto sync video and audio is to go down here where it says constant frame rate and click it because this is going to fix the out of sync issue with your audio. Then afterwards, we're gonna make sure that the quality doesn't degrade so much that you can actually notice it. So over in quality, we're gonna go ahead and turn it all the way up to what is called lossless. Then afterwards, we're gonna go down to where this optimized video and we're just gonna crank it all the way up to placebo. And after you've done this, the last thing you need to do is just simply find a place to actually save it. So after you click 
down here where it says browse, choose a place to store the new video, then you're going to have a new video that is going to be not that noticeable or not noticeable at all when it comes to quality. And it's going to be in sync with your audio. So once you put this new video inside Premiere or Sony Vegas or whatever editing software you might be using, it's going to sync up with the audio recorded on the side instead of being, you know, out of sync. And there we go. That's pretty much all you have to do in order to sync your audio with your video. And I know it does require that you sit here and wait for it to actually export your video that you already recorded before you can actually get to the editing part. Just letting it sit there and just export it one time before you actually put it inside Premiere is going to save you a lot more trouble along the way. So this is the best issue that I have for you. By time, let's hope that Logitech does actually fix the issue where you don't get out of sync footage when you do record with their webcams because it is an annoying issue. We have been having a lot of trouble with it, so this should hopefully fix it for you. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And you can also go ahead and turn on the notification bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.